And you know, something that really connects this to, to everyone too is like foreclosures. Uh, yeah, these are people who are like robbing our homes and destroying our communities, making a profit off the money we invest. And that probably is not helping us. They're not loaning that money to small businessmen to create jobs in our communities. They're just making risky Wall Street investments. If those investments pay off, great, the banks make money, but we don't get anything out of it. If they don't pay off, guess what? We're bailing them out. So um, when banks needed a bailout, Congress rushed to, to bail them out. Now we need one, and where are they? So we're here closing our accounts for that reason. We got talking points in case uh, if you guys want them. And, uh, and this is a bank transfer guy. If you had a message for the banks, if they could hear you now, yeah. what would you say to them? Right. Uh, stop stop uh, publicizing that you're helping the community when you're really screwing them over. No, no. Um, what's another one? So what I'll do is I'll go in and just uh, kind of survey. I'll get a deposit slip and I'll check to see how many tellers there are. And then uh, once I figure that out, I'll come out, tell you guys, and send you in in groups kind of stagger so that they don't know that we have an action going on. I'm not let you. I'm not let you. How's it going, man? Good morning. How you doing? You here for a uh, bank transfer day? I am indeed. Oh, cool, cool. Hey. Yeah. Uh -huh. How does it feel? Feel good? Good, good. Right. Yeah. Hey. 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 Good. Good. All right. How was it? They didn't even ask you why I'm here. They didn't try and keep you? No. Yeah, they even provided me with a free envelope. Uh, wow, right. so nice of them. Maybe you should go back to them. <laughs> they charge me ten dollars for the cashier's check. So, uh, What's next for you? Uh, I'm going to be uh, going to a credit union and uh, deposit this in there. And uh, go to some of some of the uh, workshops down at the. Uh, yeah, I know. Occupation I know. today. Yeah, There's a lot of wonderful great. stuff happening right there. So yeah, just, just keep pursuing this this whole process. And uh, feeling good about myself. We're pretty good. They were helpful. They were helpful. They didn't give you any hard time. Huh? No, no, no. Good. Did they charge you 10 bucks? They did charge me 10 dollars. Yes. <laughs> Cashier's check fee, whatever it is. Did you tell them why you wanted to do your money? I just told okay, them I was over banking. You know how to Danny, you've been a customer for 25 years, you said? 25 here? years in the event. Okay. What made you decide to do this? Well, it started with the bailouts. And then watching the bank sitting on a ton of money and then seeing none of it go to anybody who needs it. And then they announced the $5 debit card fee. And that was the last straw. So we're pulling out of B of A and we're going to credit. Had you been feeling that way even before the bailouts? Did you, just, did you just kind of stuck with it out of habit or, or were you happy with it and you just weren't happy? Yeah, they were fine, you know, they were big. <laughs> Didn't really think about it, but you know, we bail these guys out to the tune of trillions of dollars and they're sitting on trillions of dollars and they're doing nothing with it to pump it into the economy. I want to do business with them. Forget it. Have you decided on a credit union? Not yet. We're looking. <laughs> okay, okay. And how about you? What did you do this morning? Uh, today I, I closed my bank account with Bank of America. Uh, I had a very bad experience with them. Uh, they they didn't treat their customers like ethically. Uh, they with they withhold they withheld my account or my check for about 14 days. I was running on fumes in my car. I was late on my cell phone payments, which led to even more. They suggested I overdraft my own account, so they charged me $35 for that. And then on top of that, eight dollars just to see a teller. So that's why I decided to close my account. I choose where my money is invested, Bank of America. <laughs> this is the last twenty cents that they own. <laughs> they really, they really did encourage me not to, obviously, but. 
And then at the last second when they miscalculated the interest, they were like, Zenoman, you should stay. And I was like, that's too bad because I'm taking my two dimes and I'm going away. It feels quite liberating, to say the least. And it's really nice. It was really great to have all you guys out here. <laughs> and I think that this is indicative of how a lot of people feel in this country. And I think that we should, you know, encourage that we can be heard. You just have to hit them where it counts. And that's in their wallets because they're hitting us in ours.